This painting is by Fra Angelico, entitled Annunciation. It is dated circa 1438 to 1445 and is located in the monastery of San Marco, Florence. This painting was made using the fresco technique. An important idea of the 15th century was naturalism and connecting patrons to sacred spaces and commissioned art. Florence, which is where the painting is located, was a center for artistic patronage in the 15th century. Fra Angelico and his assistants were probably under the patronage of Cosmo de' Medici. The artwork was created to inspire and invite the monks in for private meditation throughout the monastery. This is shown through the inscription at the bottom of the painting, which the textbook states as, As you revere this figure of the intact virgin while passing before it, beware lest you omit to say a Hail Mary. This painting narrates to the viewer a scene from the Bible of the Annunciation. Mary is visited by the angel Gabriel who tells her the news of what's to come. The setting looks very similar to the monastery, so it's possible that the artist incorporated the holy figures into the surrounding landscape of the monks. The back room in the painting behind Mary could represent one of the monks' rooms, or the singular window. This artwork has accurate depictions of architecture inspired by Brunelleschi. It created form with the vault and porticos, slender Ionic and Corinthian columns, which in turn frame Mary and Gabriel. Although the garden to the left has form in the sense of perspective, the flowers and grass seem 2D. Mary has a delicate yet serious expression. It looks as if she's listening intently and trying to take in and understand what the angel is saying. There are diagonals that guide our eye through this piece by posture. The bodies are slightly leaned forward, which creates that diagonal and a triagonal composition. The angel's wings also show the diagonal. Mary is dressed in blue and the angel dressed in pink. These are contrasting colors. It's possible Mary's blue cloth is made from lapis lazuli. The ground is a nice gold color. There's a green landscape and garden to the left. Although not seen in pictures, the paint and the wings were likely mixed with mica, giving it a slight glow and shimmer. There is shadow in the drapery of the clothes. There is shadow on the underside of the arches and in the back room. These shadows create an appearance of depth and form. There is also a shadow on the right side of the columns, indicating the light source is coming from the top left. There are also smooth textures all throughout the painting, shown specifically through the cloth and structure of the columns. The wings have a repeating pattern, which give a slight layer texture. This piece used orthogonals as the arches recede backwards into the painting. There are some transversals in the background, where the ground reaches the wall or the fence. The focal point is likely the window next to Mary's head. This painting is slightly stylized, but still has some naturalism. It shows linear perspective. Its vanishing point would be way in the background of the painting scene, behind the structure where the orthogonals converge. The central axis is directly shown through the center column in the painting, which seems almost to separate the two figures. To view this painting, it is four feet off the ground, at the top of a staircase in the north corridor. As the viewer climbs up the stairs, it looks as if they're walking into the painting. The viewers see it at an oblique angle, as they must look up. It has life-sized figures and is large scale. The horizon is shown through the fence line on the left in the background. This creates perspective and depth. The composition is asymmetrical but balanced. It's asymmetrical because the figures are on the right and center, with the garden only on the left. Although the two sides don't match, there is a balance between them. They're balanced in color, with the cool blues and greens of the landscape, and the blue in Mary's cloth. This artwork also uses the technique of the golden rule of thirds. Our eyes are drawn not to the center, but to the two-thirds of the painting where Mary is located. This places emphasis on Mary. This painting is currently in good condition, and all of the aspects connect and show the beauty of the scene.